What's up guys? Welcome back to the Mastery Podcast. I hope you're all doing well. Now, guys, if you are tuning in through YouTube, it's great to have you here. Thank you for joining me. And if, as always, so many of you who are loyal to the podcast, listening to the podcast out and about, I appreciate you continuing to support the podcast. Now today, I want to talk to you about a big mindset shift that I had in my life. Now, I feel so gifted to be 23 years into my career and just able to sit here, talk to you guys, and just share my biggest experiences. You know, this morning I was listening to the Diary of a CEO podcast and listening to other entrepreneurs, people who have built and continue to build their businesses, their empires, build their reputations, and listen to their experiences and challenges. It's just a privilege. I just want to thank you as always for giving me the opportunity to share my journey with you. And in today's episode, I really want to share with you probably one of my biggest mindset shifts. And throughout my career, there have been an incredible amount of mindset shifts. And I suppose in the early days as a PT, and I'll talk PT and then I'll move into the online space, One of the biggest mindset shifts for me was that of selling. A lot of people have a very bad perception around the word selling and sales. And so we get to the whole idea is if you help enough people, sales will happen. Well, there is a bit of a fine line there because there is give, give, give. Yes, and thou shalt receive, okay? But give, give, give and ask and very often you'll receive more. Because as a personal trainer, even online, one of the biggest things that I learned going throughout my career was that if you are adding value and enriching somebody's life in some way, shape or form and you know 110% that you have the solution to that problem, you owe it to the person to tell them that you can help them. And so throughout my whole career, There is one thing that I do not avoid, and that is telling people that I have what they want. Now, the good thing about this with social media nowadays and the way that we market our businesses is the fact that we can constantly add value. As a personal trainer in the early days, I was always thinking value, 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 help, 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 help. And really in the early days, that help didn't automatically transpire into customers. And so when it came to going online, I would add value and post and share and post and share, and it didn't always lead into customers. Now, in my situation, you know, I had a lot of fantastic results and there was a lot of people that asked me for my help. And I will tell you, there's a very small percentage of people in the industry who, are, who excel in their field that much that their whole business ends up being organic. Their whole business, literally every single inquiry that's coming into the business is from the the, the value that they offer, i.e. the conversations that PT has in the gym, online, the posts that you make. There's very few people, there's a very small percentage that will just be inundated with people coming to them. It's what we call inbound marketing, people coming to you. But there's got to be a lot of thought process into the sale which means you have to become actively engaged in any conversation you have, whether or not that is face-to-face as a personal trainer in the gym, or whether or not that is online through whatever fashion we'll talk about lately in a minute. So the first thing I want to talk to you about is selling, okay? Something that's called a deserving level, right? When you have something that can help people and you know categorically that you can help somebody. You owe it to that person because they, believe it or not, just like you listening to this right now, I owe it to say to you, if you wanna build your business, you reach out to me because I've done it for 23 years. There is nothing that I haven't done that I couldn't add or teach you into your business to help you to get to the next level. So I owe it to you to tell you. One of the most important things you need to do, and this is something that I learned early doors, was to actually look at the value that I bring as a human being on a piece of paper to someone's life. So if you're a weight loss coach, and this is how I changed my perception in selling. If you're a weight loss coach, I want you to write down on a piece of paper absolutely everything that you've ever done that you know if you were to share that with somebody else would add incredible value to their life. 
I've done a nutrition course. What was the nutrition course? What was the modules that you covered? I've helped X amount of people lose weight. I've helped X amount of people get fit. I've helped X amount of people improve their self-confidence. I want you to just write and write and write and write and write and write. And eventually you look at that and you go, I'm pretty damn good at what I do. The problem is in our industry is you continually look at everybody else out in the world and say they've got more, they've got more. That You put yourself down. And you put yourself down to a point where you think that, you know, I'm never going to be good enough. If ever I speak to this person and they say no, is a reflection of how I feel in myself. So therefore, you fail to ever tell somebody, I can help you. It's the same as the confident man or woman in a bar would actually have no problem in saying to the person, let's go for a drink, because they know they'll enrich that, that person's life. Whether they say yes or no is regardless. They know they're a great person, they're a great catch, and they've got no problem in telling that person. So this mindset shift that I had was when I started to actually acknowledge what I'd done. Now, here's the deal. When I was younger, as a fit before the fitness industry, I had such low self-worth, such low, low self-confidence that I really didn't feel I had much value to bring to anybody. And then as I started to read books and I started to get myself leaner, I was like, well, if I can help myself get abs from changing my nutrition and training in a particular way, if I kind of gave that rough framework to somebody, they would, always, they would all do the same. If I helped Bob or Bill lose 10 pounds in the gym and it was from these three strategies, then if there's any other people in the gym that want to lose 10 to 12 pounds, all I need to do is tell them. All I need to do is go and speak to other people about what it is that their challenges are, and then just say to them, I can help you, right? So this mindset shift for me was literally looking at the piece of paper and going, I don't need 10x, 20x, 30x more knowledge to be able to propose that I helped somebody. I need two to three percent more than where they are right now because the advice, the support, and the guidance that I know that I can give to them will get them from where they are to where they want to be. So as my career developed, I looked at it like this. Year one, I was one, one year ahead of somebody new coming into the gym. Year two, I was two years ahead of somebody coming into the gym. Year three, I was three years ahead. If somebody had got one year experience of lifting weights and I had already got 10 years of lifting weights and three years worth of training and development under my belt of lifting weights, I had way more knowledge and skill than they did. So there's always something I was gonna be able to add that would get them to the next level. In order for somebody to see value in what you are being paid for, you just need to take them through stages. So I always say to people that are working with us, at the end of today's call, what would you deem today to be a success? Because I don't wanna teach them everything I know on any call that I have or any webinar that I teach. I'm wanting to solve an initial problem. You might say to me right now, one of my biggest problems is client acquisition online. And I say, well, here's two things you could try. These may be very simple to me, but that one might get you two clients. So where I'm getting to with this is my mindset shift was that I was always one to two percent ahead of anybody else. And in doing that and writing down on a piece of paper everything that I know, it increased my self-worth, it increased my self-value. So that made me so excited to be able to have any level of conversation possible with any person. So I became obsessed with just having conversations with people, learning from people, going on the gym floor, and, and even today, when it comes to online, I'm obsessed with having conversations with people. You know, having my team help us in having conversations with people. Having our sales team or our outreach team, whatever they're doing, the more conversations we can have with people, the more we know at the end of the day that the coaching programs that we deliver, we're always, well, we're very many percent ahead of anybody that comes into our coaching programs because of how long we've been doing it. But this mindset shift for me grows in time. So whenever I'm having a conversation with somebody and I say, where are you at? Where are your challenges? What do you want to improve? I owe it to somebody to then say, do you know I can help you? Now at that point when I say, do you know I can help you? And they say, well, how? Or I say, look, you know, I've helped you with a few pit. Do you mind if I just tell you exactly what I do? And they go, not at all. I said, there's no obligation to join our coaching program at all, but just let me tell you what I do. And if where they want to get to is aligned with what I'm offering and the two combined, that person then gets the chance to work with me or my team or whatever the coaching program that we have. And this really should be the same for you too. What we're looking at here is if somebody joins your coaching program as a PT or an online coach, 
their life becomes enriched. So on the right hand side of the people, a piece of paper, you write down every single thing that improves in that person's life if they work with you. And on the left hand side of the people, you, piece of paper, you write down all of the skills that you have to be able to enrich their life. Do you not see that all the skills that you have versus all the things that's going to improve in their life, it's a very small price to pay to work with you. And that basically means that you lower the perceived cost to that person by leveling the playing field. So what do they get out of working with you in terms of what you know? What do they get out of it in terms of how much that enriches their life? And then as a result of that, you see the perceived cost of you to be very, very low. So whenever I speak to somebody, I know that what we charge for our coaching programs is very little in the grand scheme of how many more clients we can help people get, how much more clarity, at what vision they get, how much more money they make, the client portfolio, even to our scaling programs, how big the teams get and impact that people can make worldwide. And when we actually look at the impact that we create for people, even down when I was personal training, I knew that the person in the gym who's struggling, they're struggling because they don't have the things that I know and therefore, they would have less injuries, they would have more enriched time with their friends and family, and they would feel healthier, they would have better health markers, they would lose more body fat, they would have more confidence. So I'm writing on the piece of paper everything that this person gets, and on the left I've got everything that I know at this stage. And therefore you start to see that you are missing out so much by not telling people, not just what you do, but having more conversations. So as a personal trainer, it has to happen on the gym floor. You have to be on the gym floor. You have to talk, talk, talk. We're in the service-based industry. When you're online, the only thing that's really going to happen for so many of you is getting inside and having conversations with people. Whether or not, you know, you're having them through comments that are left on your page or whatever. But the, the understanding here is that people very rarely come to people with a problem unless you are perceived to be an expert or an authority. So when you're classed as like a generalist or low level specialist, most people will perceive what we have, what we know as unreachable. Very, very rarely do people message me personally and say, hey, I want you to help me because they see me being so far ahead. Most of the times you guys will think that your question or thing that you want to ask is just stupid. So what do I do? I have conversations with you. I'm talking to people like yourself all the time inside my DMs. And then when I go to events, I hang around, I talk, and I say, no question is stupid. And I put content out there that reminds you guys that you're not stupid, and then I get that opportunity to help you. So my mindset shift, going back to how this is actually gonna help you in your life, is looking really in deep detail who you are, what value you add, what knowledge you have, what experiences you've been, who you've helped, and look at that. And you see your own genius, your own skill set, your own talent. And on the right hand side of the piece of paper, write down everything that you know that you could help 99% of the people that you speak to achieve, whether it's from personal, physically, professionally, everything. And then you realize, hands down, that there's absolutely no point avoiding a conversation with somebody because you can enrich their life. And what I notice in successful coaches versus coaches that are stagnant in business is that they see it as their absolute life's mission to make sure they speak to and engage with as many people as possible and have a target every single week of people to propose their coaching services to. And when they do, guess what happens? They end up having more clients, they have more customers. It's a mindset shift. It's a mindset shift from one of, no one's gonna wanna really work with me, I will just keep putting out results, I'll put, keep putting them out of my post, but you don't look at your skill set versus what you can help people with. And for me, that mindset shift made me ruthless on the gym floor to talk to as many people as possible. My diary was full all the time. Online, it was, a, it was a case of everybody back in the day when social media was very active, all the conversations I had, I made sure I sold to people. And even today, with everything that we put out, whether it's social media, whether it's YouTube or Instagram or Facebook, wherever it is, the amount of people and engagement that we get, I owe it to you guys to talk to you. So let me say to you right now, hopefully this has given you an idea and a mindset shift for you to apply to your business. But if from listening to this or watching through this, you say, I know Mark can help me. I'm saying to you right now, I know I can. 
So all you need to do is click the link in the bio, in my bio on Instagram or in the description box on YouTube, click the link and let's speak because I know I can help you. And that was not the purpose of this video, but it's the point to prove to you guys that I can help. And from your perspective, I want you to promise me something, that when you do what I've told you in this video, you go out and this week, you make sure you tell people that you can help them and watch the response. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube, just make sure you click like and subscribe, leave me any comments if you've got anything to share. And if you are listening to this on the podcast, on iTunes, then just make sure you share it on Instagram for me. Let's help more personal trainers, online coaches, build successful businesses and achieve fulfilling careers. Guys, take care.